In this video, we are going to talk about how to add local schema on your WordPress website. So if you have a local business and a website where you want to promote your local business service and products, and you want to promote that in search engine results, then this video is for you. Hi, my name is Ankit and welcome to Magazine 3 YouTube channel where we talk about everything related to WordPress. And if you want to learn more about that, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. So let's first try to understand what is this local schema, how it works, and then we will take a look at how we can add this local schema on our local business website. So let's say you are searching on Google and you are looking for dentist in New York. So search engines or Google very well know that this is a local search query. So they will try to show you a Google map result and they will also show you the highlighted results like this with this kind of rich snippet cards. So these are actually the Google My Business page entries and they are showing on the Google map. So if you have a local business website, make sure you go ahead and register on Google My Business page as well. On your local business website, you should also add local schema so that it will help search engines to understand about your business in a better way. So if you open this uh, help file for local business uh, from Google itself, it clearly says that with local business structured data, you can tell Google about your business hours, different departments within business, reviews for your business and more. So it's not just that a Google My Business page helps you promote your local business. Adding local business schema on your WordPress website is going to benefit you for local search results. And once you add this local schema on your WordPress website, search engines will understand that this website is about a local business. And apart from these map results, your local business will get a high chance to be listed in Google search engine results. So let's dive in in our WordPress backend and see how easy it is to add this local schema markup on your WordPress website. So here is our sample WordPress setup where we will be uh, setting up the local business schema. So right now we have some blog posts. We just have some sample and dummy data here and we also have few pages. So these are again some sample information added here. So let's go ahead and copy a URL of this page and see if there is any schema right now added on this or not. So for that, we will open a tool from Google itself and it's called rich result test. And once we enter the website URL here and click on test URL, this tool is going to read the HTML code and we'll try to find if there is any schema markup added on it or not. And here we can see it says no items detected. It means as of now, there is no structured data or schema markup added on it. So let's come back here. And now we move on to plugins, click on add new. And in order to add this local schema, we will be using a plugin. We will search for schema. And here we have this plugin schema and structured data for WP and AMP. So this is the plugin we are going to use. And it's from Magazine 3 itself. And you can see it got pretty good star rating as well as 80,000 plus active installations. Let's click on install now and then click on activate. And if you want to learn more about this plugin, then make sure you check the links in the video description below. And once that is done, we have now installed and activated this plugin. So let's go to the settings option. And here we have some global schema settings that will help you optimize your website for better metadata. And this will help search engines to understand about your website in a better way. So here you have an option to select where is your about page from the list of pages. We can select the about page. Same goes with the contact page and you can add the website schema on the home page. Let's click on that. We can also add site link search box. And if you want to add any schema on your archive pages, you can do that from here. Along with that, you can add breadcrumbs and comment schema as well by just click off a button. So this is not just for adding any type of schema on your website. This plugin will help you get more metadata added so that the search engines will be able to understand about your website in a better way. Once that is done, we move on to the next tab. It says knowledge graph and here we need to enter the data type. Right now, organization is selected. So if this is a local business site, I would prefer that you choose organization and then fill up all these basic details here. This is the very important part, AMP. 
So if you are implementing AMP pages on your WordPress website, you will see this check mark here as well. It says structured data for AMP, which helps adding structured data or schema markup on your AMP pages as well. So if you are implementing AMP pages on your WordPress site, make sure you select this option as well. Once that is done, let's now move on to the next option. It says schema types. If we click on that, here you can see that we have no schema added as of now. So we click on add schema type and here we have a and here we have a installation setup wizard. First we need to choose schema type. So what kind of schema we want to add on this WordPress website. So here from the list we will select local business and what type of local business it is. We can also select this uh, from the list here. So for this example, maybe we can select internet cafe. Let's click on next. And now we have the next option for placement where we want to place this schema markup that we have selected. So by default, it says post type equals to post. So this local business schema will get added on all the blog posts, which is actually not required in this case. If you are adding FAQ schema or how to schema or maybe recipe schema, then you might need to add that kind of schema on all the blog posts or pages. But in this case, we are adding local business schema. So instead of posts, I will select page. So there are very limited page on this website. So if schema markup gets added on all the pages, that's perfectly fine. There is no limitation that you can just enter local business schema on any one or two pages. So just make sure that you don't overdo that by adding this on all of your blog posts. Uh, you can also go ahead and select specific pages where you want to add this schema. You can select the and condition from here and you can select as many pages you want. But again, make sure you don't overdo that. Just add it on the most popular pages or the most relevant pages of your website. So right now we will add this on about us page only. Let's click on next. And once that is done, we are done with this installation setup. Let's go back to the WordPress backend. And here we have the schema type as local business, business type, internet cafe, and we have the placement equals to about us page. And once that is done, let's move on to the pages section. We go to all pages. So here is our about us page. Let's click on edit. And if we scroll down, we can see we have an option for modify local business schema output. So we click on that. So once we click on this button, we get this form where we can fill up the details about our local business. So it's pretty straightforward. You can go ahead and fill up all the details about your uh, local business. So let me just go ahead and fill up these details quickly and then we will test the page again in this rich test tool in this rich result test. So now we have just filled up this sample data here. So you can fill up as much as possible. Whatever details you know about local business, about if you know the uh, latitude or longitude from Google Maps, you can enter here and whatever details you can enter here, it will be good for Google to understand your business in a better way. Once all this is filled up, let's go ahead and update this page. Let's copy the URL of this page and we already have this here. So let's go ahead and refresh this uh, test once again. And now we see we have one valid item detected and the valid item is local business. If we click on that, you will see we have the same title as we have entered here. So all the details are getting reflected here perfectly fine. So this is how easy it is to add local business schema on your WordPress website. So make sure you add the local schema on your WordPress website along with that make sure you register on Google My Business page as well. So if you like this video, then make sure you hit the like button. If you want to learn more about schema markup, then make sure you watch our complete playlist. The link is in the i button above and the video description below. And if you want to learn more about WordPress, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. So that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next one.